What brings you to Ohio? He said, damn if I know. What brings you to Ohio? He said, damn if I know. First year on the Challengers, the varsity scholars from UCLA. Dave Cross, North Hollywood, California. Charles Silver, Los Angeles, California. Joe Goldberg, Van Nuys, California. Art Harris, Los Angeles, California. That's UCLA. <laughs> Bill Schaefer, Birmingham, Michigan. Richard Pep, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ann Hoster, Washington, D.C. Kathy Leshy, Peoples, Ohio. That's Ohio Wesleyan. <laughs> the class up for 10 points. What modern piece of writing mentions the following figures? A one-eyed merchant, a hanged man, and a drowned police. Ohio Wesleyan, Hoster. That's T.S. Eliot's Wasteland. It is the Wasteland. <laughs> it is indigenous to North and South Carolina. Its name is Diania Musipula. For, for 10 points, what? is the most unusual characteristic of this plant. Ohio Wesley, a pet. It catches insects. Yes, that's right. It is insect trapping or carnivorous. <laughs> meetings and partings are frequent in works of literature, and here are some book titles that include the words we say at meeting and parting. Five points apiece for each title you can supply. The title of a novel by Ernest Hemingway. Farewell. Farewell to Arms. Farewell to Arms. The title of a one-act play by William Soroyan. Uh... The answer is Hello Out There, a novel by Françoise Sagan. Uh, Bonjour, Tristesse. Bonjour, Tristesse, that's right. A book of poems by Carl Sandburg. Uh, hello, America. Hello, America. No, it's Good Morning, America. A novel by James Hilton. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Chips. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. A biography of John Barrymore by Gene Fowler. Uh, uh, good night, sweet prince. Good night, sweet prince. Yes, good night, sweet prince, that's right. I own a paint manufacturing company. I want to expand my business by what economists call horizontal expansion. For 10 points, what do I do? Ohio Wesley, unless you... Build more buildings. Yes, build more plants to make more paint. That's right. Presumably, all right. I don't think about an empire back in 323 B.C. Today, his empire would include all or part of a number of modern nations. Ten points if you can name six of these nations. Twenty points if you can name ten of them. And thirty points if you can name fourteen. Give me one list of fourteen, and your Captain Richard Pep, please, will speak for your team. Greece. Turkey. Lebanon. Israel, Syria, Syria, Syria. Iraq, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Iran, Iran. Pakistan. Pakistan, Egypt, Egypt. Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Kuwait. Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Uh, Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Albania. Albania, that's 14, now let me tell you, you got Afghanistan, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Egypt, Greece, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Pakistan, Syria, and Turkey, you had 14. And for 10 points, please name the Greek play from which this excerpt comes. Listen. To spare me the speech against my will. Speech! Speech! Oh, hi, Wesley, a shaver. Eat this rack. Yes, that's right. What comes between a birdie and a bogey? Oh, hi, Wesley, a shaver. Par. Par, that's right. 10 points. I have a 20 pointer waiting. Here is the toss up for 10 points. Name the European king who is the only reigning monarch to have recently won a gold medal in the Olympics. Okay, what's the shape in Constantine of Greece? It is. Constantine of Greece who won a gold medal in yachting in 1960. I don't know how I was for 20 points. What 19th and 20th century English author wrote you the obscure Tess of the D'Urbervilles and Thomas Hardy. Yes, Thomas Hardy, 20 points. I have another 20 pointer wait. So certain scientists of the 1800s believed that they could predict a man's personality by studying the bumps on his skull. UCLA Silver. Is young I beg your pardon? School physiognomy. No, five point penalty, and I'll repeat the entire question for Ohio Wesleyan. Certain scientists of the 1800s believe they could predict a man's personality by studying the bumps on his skull. For 10 points, what were those men called? Ohio Wesleyan, Huster. Phrenologists. Phrenologists. It's phrenology, that's right. For 10 points, what internationally famous statesman is the fascist describing in this passage from his book, Mr. Wilson's War? The cartoonist. Ohio Wesleyan, Schaefer. Oh, so that's right. For 10 points, how is your Hootmanny IQ? We're going to play excerpts from four folk songs. Listen, try the next one. Down your head, Tom. For 20 points, who was the spiritual leader of the Lollards? Your answer? Gail Gutnick. No, it's John. <laughs> to end the first half, 